know if you're ready to hire an assistant. In today's video, we're going to go over a couple questions you need to ask yourself if you're ready, and then a couple questions you need to ask yourself if you are going to hire an assistant. So you're thinking of hiring an assistant and you're not sure if you're ready. Let's start by asking yourself a couple questions. One, do you find yourself having trouble returning your phone calls? Like, do you feel like, oh, I can, you know, I'm missing all of these calls because I'm out in showings or I've got all these people I need to call or need to follow up with. That's a great indication that you might be ready to hire assistant. In addition to that, you need to be asking yourself, am I running out of time? Do I have to be in too many places at one time? Basically time blocking is no longer working because you're never done. So you find your days coming to an end and still having a laundry list of things to do. That's another sign that you might be ready for an assistant. Another thing to be thinking about is the trajectory of your business. Do you find that you're gaining more clients and that as you look ahead, you're going to be selling more than 20 units? If that's the case, that's definitely a great sign that you might be ready. Also, think about burnout. If you continue at this pace that you're currently going, that could be a sign that you need to get some help. And lastly, if your calendar is a hot mess and your email is a hot mess and you find that things are falling through the cracks because you've got so much business going on, those are all signs that you're ready for an assistant. So if you answered yes to a lot of those questions, now we kind of know, hey, I might be ready to bring on an assistant. Before we do so, I want you to ask yourself a couple more questions because there are some things to think about when you commit to bringing someone else into your business. I mean, if you do bring someone into your business, not only are you going to be responsible for yourself, but also for that person. So the first question I'd have you ask yourself is, are you ready to commit to a schedule? Because let's face it, if someone is going to be working for you, they're counting on you to keep a schedule, which means you can't just show up when you feel like it. Uh, one of my great friends, Devin Tryon, I loved that he once shared how he was held accountable to make his calls. His assistant would come in and sit there and she got paid whether he was making his calls or not. So it was a great way to force him to make his calls because she just sat there. So she could be on Facebook messing around or she could be taking notes because he was making his calls. So you absolutely have to be ready to keep a schedule. The next thing you really need to ask yourself is, are you ready to communicate? Because I have some breaking news for you. Assistants are not mind readers. You will absolutely have to break down your business for them, which means that you also need to be ready to trust somebody. Because I tell you, so many assistants get fired or quit before they ever truly get a chance to get started because their leader didn't communicate and didn't trust, didn't set expectations or key performance indicators to let them know that they were on track to do what they needed to do. Also, I would say that you absolutely need to be ready, and this is gonna be a hard one. Are you ready to slow down in order to speed up? You heard me right. Hiring an assistant is not a magic pill. In fact, it's going to be hard before it gets better. The reason for that is that most of the time assistants don't come fully trained based on your preferences. They don't know what's going on inside your head. They don't know your business. They probably have the skills, but they're going to need you to slow down, communicate, set expectations, and train them to work in a way that's going to be effective for your business. So if you're not ready to keep a schedule, if you're not ready to clearly communicate and set expectations, if you're definitely not ready to trust somebody and slow down to speed up, then I would say you're not ready for an assistant. But if you have more questions about that, feel free to drop me a message. I've got a great guide that will absolutely help you know, one, are you ready? And then two, how and where do I find an assistant? Including, should I be looking at virtual assistants or somebody in-house?